March 3rd, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Numbers chapters 1 and 2 from the Old Testament. Now the Lord spoke to Moses in the tent of meeting in the wilderness of Sinai on the first day of the second month of the second year after the Israelites departed from the land of Egypt. He said, Take a census of the entire Israelite community by their clans and families, counting the name of every individual male. You and Aaron are to number all in Israel who can serve in the army, those who are 20 years old or older, by their divisions. And to help you there is to be a man from each tribe, each man the head of his family. Now these are the names of the men who are to help you. From Reuben, Eliezer, son of Shediar. From Simeon, Shelumiel, son of Zerushaddai. From Judah, Nashon, son of Amminadab. From Issachar, Nathaniel, son of Zawar. From Zebulun, Eliab, son of Helon. From the sons of Joseph. From Ephraim, Elishama, son of Amihud. From Manasseh, Gamaliel, son of Pedazer. From Benjamin, Abidan, son of Gideonai. From Dan, Ahizer, son of Amashadai. From Asher, Pegliel, son of Akron. From Gad, Eliasaph, son of Duel. From Naphtali, Ahira, son of Enan. These were the ones chosen from the community, leaders of their ancestral tribes. They were the heads of the thousands of Israel. So Moses and Aaron took these men who had been mentioned specifically by name, and they assembled the entire community together on the first day of the second month. Then the people recorded their ancestry by their clans and families, and the men who were 20 years old or older were listed by name individually, just as the Lord had commanded Moses. And so he numbered them in the wilderness of Sinai. And they were as follows. The descendants of Reuben, the firstborn son of Israel, according to the record of their clans and families, all the males 20 years old or older who could serve in the army were listed by name individually. Those of them who were numbered from the tribe of Reuben were 46,500. From the descendants of Simeon, According to the records of their clans and families, all the males numbered of them 20 years old or older who could serve in the army were listed by name individually. Those of them who were numbered from the tribe of Simeon were 59,300. From the descendants of Gad, according to the records of their clans and families, all the males 20 years old or older who could serve in the army were listed by name. Those of them who were numbered from the tribe of Gad were 45,650. From the descendants of Judah, according to the records of their clans and families, all the males 20 years old or older who could serve in the army were listed by name. Those of them who were numbered from the tribe of Judah were 74,600. From the descendants of Issachar, according to the records of their clans and families, all the males 20 years old or older who could serve in the army were listed by name. Those of them who were numbered from the tribe of Issachar were 54,400. From the descendants of Zebulun, according to the records of their clans and families, all the males 20 years old or older who could serve in the army were listed by name. Those of them who were numbered from the tribe of Zebulun were 57,400. From the sons of Joseph, from the descendants of Ephraim, according to the records of their clans and families, all the males 20 years old or older who could serve in the army were listed by name. Those of them who were numbered from the tribe of Ephraim were 40,500. From the descendants of Manasseh, according to the records of their clans and families, all the males 20 years old or older who could serve in the army were listed by name. Those of them who were numbered from the tribe of Manasseh were 32,200. From the descendants of Benjamin, according to the records of their clans and families, 
All the males 20 years old or older who could serve in the army were listed by name. Those of them who were numbered from the tribe of Benjamin were 35,400. From the descendants of Dan, according to the records of their clans and families, all the males 20 years old or older who could serve in the army were listed by name. Those of them who were numbered from the tribe of Dan were 62,700. From the descendants of Asher, according to the records of their clans and families, all the males 20 years old or older who could serve in the army were listed by name. Those of them who were numbered from the tribe of Asher were 41,500. From the descendants of Naphtali, according to the records of their clans and families, all the males 20 years old or older who could serve in the army were listed by name. Those of them who were numbered from the tribe of Naphtali were 53,400. These were the men whom Moses and Aaron numbered along with the 12 leaders of Israel, each of whom was from his own family. All the Israelites who were 20 years old or older who could serve in Israel's army were numbered according to their families. And all those numbered totaled 603,550. But the Levites, according to the tribe of their fathers, were not numbered among them. The Lord had said to Moses, Only the tribe of Levi you must not number or count with the other Israelites, but appoint the Levites over the tabernacle of the testimony, over all its furnishings, and over everything in it. They must carry the tabernacle and all its furnishings, and they must attend to it and camp around it. Whenever the tabernacle is to move, the Levites must take it down, and whenever the tabernacle is to be reassembled, the Levites must set it up. Any unauthorized person who approaches it must be killed. The Israelites will camp according to their divisions, each man in his camp, and each man by his standard. But the Levites must camp around the tabernacle of the testimony so that the Lord's anger will not fall on the Israelite community. The Levites are responsible for the care of the tabernacle of the testimony. The Israelites did according to all that the Lord commanded Moses. This is what they did. The Lord spoke to Moses and to Aaron. Every one of the Israelites must camp under his standard with the emblems of his family. They must camp at some distance around the tent of meeting. Now those who will be camping on the east toward the sunrise are the divisions of the camp of Judah under their standard. The leader of the people of Judah is Nashon son of Aminadab. Those numbered in his divisions are 74,600. Those who will be camping next to them are the tribe of Issachar. The leader of the people of Issachar is Nathaniel, son of Zuar. Those numbered in his division are 54,400. Next will be the tribe of Zebulun. The leader of the people in Zebulun is Eliab, son of Helon. Those numbered in his division are 57,400. All those numbered of the camp of Judah, according to their divisions, are 186,400. They will travel at the front. On the south will be the divisions of the camp of Reuben, under their standard. The leader of the people of Reuben is Eliezer, son of Shadir. Those numbered in his division are 46,500. Those who will be camping next to them are the tribe of Simeon. The leader of the people of Simeon is Shelumiel, son of Zerushadai. Those numbered in his division are 59,300. Next will be the tribe of Gad. The leader of the people of Gad is Eliasaph, son of Duel. Those numbered in his division are 45,650. All those numbered of the camp of Reuben, according to their divisions, are 151,450. They will travel second. Then the tent of meeting with the camp of the Levites will travel in the middle of the camps. They will travel in the same order as they camped, each in his own place, under his standard. On the west will be the divisions of the camp of Ephraim under their standard. 
the leader of the people of Ephraim, is Elishema, son of Amihud. Those numbered in his division are 40,500. Next to them will be the tribe of Manasseh. The leader of the people of Manasseh is Gamaliel, son of Pediezer. Those numbered in his division are 32,200. Next will be the tribe of Benjamin. The leader of the people of Benjamin is Abidan, son of Gideonai. Those numbered in his division are 35,400. All those numbered of the camp of Ephraim, according to their divisions, are 108,100. They will travel third. On the north will be the divisions of the camp of Dan, under their standards. The leader of the people of Dan is Ahiezer, son of Amishadai. Those numbered in his divisions are 62,700. Those who will be camping next to them are the tribe of Asher. The leader of the people of Asher is Pegliel, son of Akron. Those numbered in his division are 41,500. Next will be the tribe of Naphtali. The leader of the people of Naphtali is Ahira, son of Enon. Those numbered in his division are 53,400. All those numbered of the camp of Dan are 157,600. They will travel last under their standards. These are the Israelites numbered according to their families. All those numbered in the camps by their divisions are 603,550. But the Levites were not numbered among the other Israelites as the Lord commanded Moses. So the Israelites did according to all that the Lord commanded Moses. That is the way they camped under their standards, and that is the way they traveled, each with his clan and family. God, interestingly enough, Numbers is one of the books in the Bible that I can most relate to. I know right now we're hearing about all the tribes and where they get to camp and how they're going to march and in what order and and people listening to this are probably saying how in the world can that relate to your life Janelle but this book in this uh, amazing story about your people God uh, is fascinating to me because you are leading them from Mount Sinai to the borders of their promised lands and how excited must they be with this promise that you've made to them and yet they decide to whine and complain and be fearful and antagonistic and doubting hmm wonder why I've heard that before so here you have provided them this amazing promise that if they'll be obedient to you and be your people and follow the commands that you've given them then that promise will be theirs and they're already seeing the promise that you made to Abraham about the multitudes of people that you are going to give him and and we're seeing that in these numbers as many as the pieces of sand on the beaches yet even as they see you fulfilling promises you've made in this covenant with them in the sheer amount of people that you are giving as descendants to Abraham, as the people you are given to the army so that they can fight and get into their promised land, even as they see you fulfilling promise after promise after promise, they still whine, they still doubt, they still complain, they still fear. <laughs> and you, a very just God, Delay their entry into that promise by 40 years. Yeah, Book of Numbers relates to my life. <laughs> when I sit down and think about it, it gets a little bit scary to think about how much and how many years blessings that you've wanted to give to me have been delayed because of my selfishness and my arrogance and my pouting and whining. And the tantrums I throw when I don't want to do what you ask me to do. Oh my goodness. 
It seems so easy, God. If we would just be obedient to you, the blessings would come faster. They'd come much faster than the 40 years that your chosen people had to wait for. So God, today I just ask for my ego to be stripped from this relationship. All those reactions to you simply come from me trying to put me first instead of you first. How can I not believe in your promises? You have blessed my life over and over and over and over again. You have shown yourself to be as being nothing but completely faithful. You are the one in control of this relationship. I'm definitely not in any kind of control. <laughs> God, today I just ask for my heart to be true and obedient. And for me to lay everything that is me at your feet. Please take away everything that is all about me and make it all about you, God. Not just so I can receive the blessings faster than 40 years. Not so I can receive your promises faster. But so if I strip away the parts of me that are selfish and hand them over to you, then the only thing that's going to be reflected in my life is you. And that's pretty awesome. So God, today, and for the next couple days as we read through Numbers, let us keep in mind that blessing of the promised land for your chosen people was delayed by 40 years because they made it all about them instead of all about you. Remind us, God, that it is all about you. In your son's name we pray. Amen.